Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I want to show how to make YouTube subscribe button with After Effects. Let's get started. So after finish video, I will share all project files. First one, let's create this background shape layer. Go to here. Let's hold this icon and let's select this rounded rectangle tool and make shape layer like this click station tool go to stroke chain stroke zero go to fill let's make red color let's select this or use airdropper select this color click ok let's change to flat color click ok okay then let's change name shape red one and in this time go to here let's enable title action save and move to center like this let's select these other layers hide layers select the shape layer go to window enable a link and let's click here and this icon for move the object to center then let's press p and move it down make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down or click here right here plus 10 click ok and move it up go to 10 keyframe again move it down again go to 10 keyframe move it up and again move it down and finally again move it up Let's select shape frames and make easy. Okay, let's animation. Okay, not bad. So let's select the shape layer and let's open inside. Open contents, rectangle one and rectangle pet one. Let's click this size icon and go to here. Let's make size shape frame and move to right. Go to here change size like this let's select shape frames and make easy and move to left let's see okay let's select shape frame move to right okay select shape frames go to graph editor and let's make graph like this okay very nice so back to shape frames and in this time let's select this shape red one and let's control d for duplicate then select the shape red again control d and press p let's go to here select all shape frames and delete then let's change name white let's enable this for example and lock layer okay select this white and go to fill select this white color click ok and let's try change size like this okay let's open inside here contents and rectangle one and rectangle pet one change roughness like this zero okay then move to here and in this time select is white let's move to inside shape layers and go to click toggle switch modes change non to alpha matte shape red to nice let's see okay we will spot this white shape layer inside red layers so let's link to white layer shape red one let's see okay let's see again nice and let's select this white move to right okay let's press u and close size keyframes. frames and in this time let's press p move to left make new person keyframe. frame go to here and move to right select keyframes, frames make easy go to graph editor and select this graph make like this let's animation 
Nice. Back to shape frame, select last shape frame, move to right for slow animation. And select this layer, move to left. Okay, not bad. So, select this white. And let's move to right like this. Okay, nice. Okay, select this play red, let's enable layer. And move to up. And move to center like this. Go to here, effect preset, search effect fill, select this fill, let's use for this play rate. Go to airdropper, let's select this color, click OK. So, let's select this layer, and in this time, let's press S, let's move to right this layer, and change scale 0, make scale chain frame, go to 10 chain frame, change 120, go to 10 chain frame again change 95 go to again 10 j frame change 105 again go to 10 j frame change 100 select j frames make easy let's select work area and let's see animation nice and let's select this play red link to shape red one and move to left let's see move to right Okay, not bad. Let's see animation. Nice. So, select this play white. Let's enable layer and move to up. Let's move to inside here. And select this scale chain frames, control C. Select this play white. Move to right here and go to here, control V. Let's see. Let's move to left and let's animation. Very nice. So, let's select this layer play. Let's enable and move to up. And move to inside this white layer. Okay. Let's select this layer and use fill. Go to eyedropper, select this color. So in this time, let's select this and move to left and move to right this layer. Let's press S, change scale 0, make scale keyframe. frame. Go to here, change 110. Go to here, change 100. Select keyframes frames and make easy. Let's see. Okay, this is very slow. Let's select keyframes frames and hold Alt, move to left. Okay, let's select these three frames again. Hold Alt, move to left. Okay, so select this layer and move to left and go to here. Let's press P, make new passing three frame, and go to five three frames. Move to right like this. Okay, select these two three frames. And let's try move to here, center. Okay, select last shape frame. And let's move to right. Go to 10 shape frame. Move to left. Go to 10 shape frame again. Move to right. Again, go to 10 shape frame. Move to left. And again, move to right. Let's move to right. Okay, select shape frames. Make easy ease. And let's see animation. So, select J frames, right mouse, go to J frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK, and select these J frames, move to left. Let's say again. Okay, select J frames, go to graph editor, and let's make graph like this. It's moved right and this moved right. Okay, not bad. So back to chain frames. And let's try make this. Select this play white, control D. Select play, move the inside play white layers. Change non to alpha mate. Let's say again. 
Okay, not bad. So, select this red player, press S, close scale shape frames, and let's try change size like this. Press P, go to last shape frame, select this last shape frame, and let's try move to right like this. Let's say again. Okay, not bad. So, select last shape frame, move to right. Select shape frames, go to graph editor. And let's select this graph. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, let's select this play button, Ctrl D for duplicate. And select this play white, Ctrl D, move to up. And select this play. Okay, now we have two play button on inside play white. And let's go to fill. Let's use fill for this play too. Select this color, change black. Click OK. And select this play too. Move to right. Let's see. Let's move to left. Okay, not bad. Let's click this toggle switch mode. Uh, enable motion blur all layers. Okay, not bad. So, let's go to text and let's write here subscribe. Click session tool and change scale. Okay, go to window. Open animation comes as three. So if you have not this plugin, you can watch my video and I will show how to download and install this animation comes as three. It's very easy. Open starter preset and text layers, animate characters. Let's select any effect for our text. Okay, that's good. Let's select this effect and select this text and click in. Close window. And select this mark, move to right for slow animation. And select this text layer. Let's move to right. Let's move to left. Okay, very nice. And let's select these shape layers. Let's select this play red and all these layers. Let's move to left. Okay, and select this play layers. Move to left for fast animation. Okay, not bad. Let's see. Nice. Let's try move to left this play layers. Left again. Okay, very nice. So let's delete this example layer. And let's see. Okay, not bad. So, thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.